there's kids there, sir. <laughs> That's that hard serve. <laughs> So it looks like we got a shark coochie board. Oh man, I love me a baby shark coochie board. <clears throat> thank you for Tim. Thank you so much for all of your hard work on deliciousness. We are so excited for the premiere. We hope you have a great and delicious holiday season with love, Jessica, Shelby, Rachel, Ben, Nina, Lily, Chris, and your MTV family. Let's get it. Oh, oh my God. Yo, the honey with some of these stinky cheeses with a cracker. Oh, yes, yes. I'm off. I'm off the cheese. But I mean, I could get a little, little bite of this, a little, little bite of that here and there. You know, just a little bit is going to be OK. All right. So as you can see, get a little bit of that stinky cheese. All right. You get some of this honey right here. I'm holding it with my ashy ass legs. I'm sorry. A little just a little of that just a little 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 honey right here oh man oh my god there you go that is so bomb but i can't have too much of that but that shit goes crazy mm-hmm so Tim and I are about to start our labor class. We can't meet with our doula in person, so we're doing everything virtually, of course. So, and also virtually with Tim because he's stupid and isolating upstairs. I'll never get tired of saying that. <laughs> it's uh, it's getting real. Okay, I'm I'm. It's getting real. <laughs> Our doula, Sarah Levon from Bundle Birth, has put together this Bundle Birth labor prep class that we're going to be doing. And then I have Tim, stupid Tim over here. Stupid Tim. I'm so glad that you have sunshine up there. Yeah. Could you imagine if it was just like a dark hole? If I was up here and it was, or if it was just rainy for like <laughs> the whole two weeks? Yeah. Damn, that would have sucked. At least you can get some sunshine. A little warmth. I definitely just laid out there for like for like an hour and then and then sunburnt the just this part of my face because this was covered with a mask. I was just you know when you just lay there for long enough. I just I think I just lost track of time and then I looked at my face and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, and you also didn't have SPF on. It's, it's not a priority right now. No, I just, I need the sun to pierce my skin and heal my bones. So, yeah, so we're about to start our class and... Uh, <laughs> okay, then. Okay, then. <laughs> we're about to start our class. You're, re you're ready to be a mom already. <laughs> it's like, mom. So today we went to the blah, 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 and we took a thing, and then we looked at these things, and then we found this thing, and, my, and Bray was like, yo, let's go to the thing, and you're, okay, son. <laughs> okay, then. Um, <laughs> are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let us begin. <laughs> today I am at an ultrasound, not with my OB. I go to a different place for different types of ultrasound. So we're checking up on the growth of the baby. And Tim is still in isolation, so he's not at this appointment, um, which is not really unusual. He's never been allowed to these appointments uh, since the beginning. I think uh, this location is just a little bit um, more strict on who they have in the office and in the treatment rooms. So it's just me. And I'm gonna go in and uh, see how the baby's growing. Now that we are in third trimester, I've been told that this is when baby grows. So let's go see how it's growing. He or she is growing. I'm just getting to my doctor's appointment. And a couple days ago, I had another appointment where they did um, an ultrasound to see how the baby is growing. So by now, hopefully my doctor has gotten the report and she'll give me a little more insight and detail to see how the baby is actually growing. 
the tech that does that performs the ultrasound they don't really say like too too much in detail my doctor always gives me the inside scoop for that is the first appointment that tim is missing with our ob but poo on him that's what he gets for making stupid stupid decisions he's missing out i could facetime him but hmm, we'll see so yeah i'm gonna go in see the ob see what she has to say and see how this baby is growing brb okay just left my doctor appointment and everything looks good the baby is growing just as it should be it's just gonna be a small baby that's all everything is good nothing to worry about um what else did she say that's it basically everything is all good all good nothing to worry about and now i will have some in and out so my quarantine is technically done with um i was upstairs for 10 days since my positive test and even before that i was quarantined in the hotel for like another five days so according to you know just how it works um i'm good technically to leave my quarantine room especially since my temperature my fever has been good for like four days four or five days but um you know we're gonna hang I'm, I'm gonna hang out upstairs just for, for a few more days just to make it an even two weeks since my positive test and even though some of y'all said it's it's pointless to to go test because the it can still show up positive for like i don't know up to 90 days afterwards or whatever um and even though i'm not contagious anymore i was like let me just go get a little test just do this little drive through shit at Dodger Stadium just to see what it says, you know what I'm saying? Just to add a little bit of extra, like, um, calmness, just to ease your mind, make you feel a little better, you know? Like, like, let me just do it. So, I'm at Dodger Stadium right now, about to get this test, and, um, and then I'm gonna just go back home and go back upstairs for just a few more days. Tim's parents have sent us more food. Bless his parents, because I'm, t I'm tired. I'm tired of making food for Tim. I'm tired of just, I just wanna relax, man. So they have been making the best food for us. So thank you guys for all of your extra help these past three weeks, two weeks, whatever it's been, because somebody, decided not to listen to his wife and put us all in very stupid situations. So here's what's on the menu this week. Tim's mom made some spare rib stew. Probably put some, put some rice with this. And some more kapow, which is always so good with some rice, fried egg. Mm-mm-mm. And some fruit. Oh my gosh, I've been craving fruit, 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 fruit. You guys, I'm really contemplating stripping my couch and washing all of the, the covers. But is that being a little too extra? Mm. Nope. I feel like you can never really be too careful when there was COVID in your house. I mean, who doesn't like a clean couch? I like a clean couch. Guess what guys? It is the end of my quarantine and my test came back negative. So uh, your boy is, your boy is extra and clear. We good to go. Um, it's been a it's been a nice uh, couple weeks up here, you know. But um, I'm ready to get back to my wife and uh, see what the baby is is, is, uh, is doing in there. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I'm glad to have uh, beat the Rona, you know. Um, like I said before, I'm, I feel blessed that it didn't hit me too crazy, and uh, and I have definitely learned my lesson and trust me daddy I will be much more careful from now on <sighs> time to go back downstairs good morning today is a very exciting day we are letting Tim out of his dungeon he tested negative for COVID and I could not be more relieved. 
that my duties of catering to him are over. <laughs> Came just in time because I was gonna go and buy groceries yesterday because we need some like the essentials. We need like milk and eggs and bread. But I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. I'm too tired. I'm just gonna wait for Tim's COVID test and see if he tests negative and then I'm gonna make him go and do it all by himself. And now he's negative. And now he's gonna go and do all the things by himself. <sighs> we did it. And I'm still negative. Thank heavens. Did you hear that, baby? We are still negative. And your dad is negative, but he's very stupid. Now I'm going to post me some breakfast. Because I'm not doing shit for the next three months. <laughs> it's a good day. It's a good day. So I'm finally coming downstairs. And I'm ready for my warm reception for my wife. <laughs> and she doesn't even turn around. I Because she's playing with her new toy. <laughs> Baby, I am here to take care of you. Should I... <laughs> Should I be doing that? Baby, I'm negatory, my guy. So now that Tim is out of isolation, I uh, watched... Put me to work immediately. Immediately, yeah. You've been... It's been three weeks. <laughs> Pretty much. It's basically been three weeks. Yeah, since I've been gone from your life. And putting these couch cushions back on is so annoying. Bailey, I will do all the things from now on, okay? I got you. You don't have to lift one finger. Well, yeah, I am not. <laughs> ever. <laughs> God. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you. King shit.